Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Mujib Shazad. I'm going to teach you today level 2 speaking. On page number 15, you can find your grammar spot, present continuous. The present continuous tense we are going to talk about. The present continuous describes uh, actions that take place at the moment of speaking. And there are two types of sentences, basically. One is affirmative and the second one is negative. Affirmative is kind of simple sentence and negative which negates any action. This is negative sentence. And the example is given here for affirmative is I am eating dinner. And in negative it's we are not studying for a test right now. The structure of the sentence is subject plus B form of the verb. B is modified according to the subject. Is, am, R, was, were. These are the forms of the verb B. And then it comes ing form of the verb, present participle form of the verb, and the rest part of the sentence. This is affirmative sentence. And in negative, the structure of the negative sentence is we put just not after B form of the verb. And then it comes ing form of the verb. Now, next, uh, uh, the present continuous also describes actions that take place around now, but not exactly at the moment of speaking. The actions continue for a period of time. Look for clue words and phrases like today, this week, this year, and always. And examples of these kind of sentences. Uh, affirmative, she is finishing her homework today. And negative, they are not watching TV this week. Now, uh, this is, there is an activity, activity A. You can do this activity. You have, there are some words are given here. You can combine these words and make a sentence. The first one, uh, first one is already given here, which is salt. My cousin is studying architecture at university. So, you change the form of the verb, main verb, that is study. So, it should be studying. And you put another verb before that, uh, that is B form of the verb according to the subject. Because the subject is third person singular. So, it should be is. Now, you can solve the rest of the sentences by following this method. So, there are four sentences all. Now, on the next page. Page number 16. Activity B. Activity B is uh, listen to uh, listen to the conversations. Do they describe actions that are happening right now or actions that are happening around now? Write H N. H N stands for happening now. If the if the event is happening, if describing the sentence is describing the event that is happening now you have to write HN and if the uh, event event is uh, happening around now it's describing happening around now so you can write AN so you can listen them on the website iqspecialedition.com if you have uh, got your book registered then you can register your book if not uh, you can listen them and you can solve this exercise okay now on the next spot that is pronunciation Pronunciation is about today is about interjections and intonation. Interjection are the words. Uh, this is a part of speech. This, these are some words that show the emotions. Like either you're sad, you're excited, uh, you're happy, you're surprised, you're disappointed. So these are some words that show your emotions. And intonation is rise and fall. In the tone rise and fall when you're when the speaker is speaking so how he utters though how he utters those words or the sentence like rise and fall in high tone or low tone so these are called intonation rise and fall in the tone interjections uh, interjections are short words phrases or sounds that people use when they speak interjections often express feelings for example wow is an interjection that usually indicates surprise or excitement. The example is given here. I'm going to play for you.
Unit 1. Pronunciation. Example 1. Wow, that dress is fantastic. I love it. Okay. Uh, the meaning of an interjection often depends on the speaker's intonation. For example, oh can express different emotions as in these examples. So the word interjection O, oh, it has different meanings, but it depends on how the speaker, he pronounces these interjections. So listen to these examples. Unit 1. Pronunciation. Example 2. Oh, I didn't know you were coming. Oh, I failed my driving test again. Oh, someone parked their car right behind us. Now we can't get out. In all these three sentences, the same interjection has been used. But the speaker pronounces in different ways. The first sentence describes about happiness, the second describes about disappointment, and the third one describes about the anger. Other common interjections are, well, yeah, like this. Okay, now this is uh, an activity, activity A. Listen to the sentences, two different speakers will read each one. One sentence will be pronounced by two speakers. Answer the questions and check to make a sign of check the correct speaker. So uh, the first one is uh, like, well, I think this is the right answer. Which speaker sounds more uncertain? So when you will listen them, you're gonna check that which speaker is correct one, either speaker one or speaker two. So there are four sentences on the next page, page number 17. Till four sentences you have to solve them after listening the track okay now on the next spot that is speaking skill it's about drawing attention to main idea main ideas uh, main ideas uh, sometimes speakers they want to draw the attention of the listeners to the main idea so what they do they have different ways uh, the different methods they apply to get the attention of the listeners to the main idea. Let's see. When you speak, help listeners understand your main ideas. Repeat an important idea with different words. One example is given here. Buildings should serve people, not the other way around. In other words, Architects should remember the real practical purpose of a building as they design it. So in this you can find the bold phrase, bold and darker, that is in other words. So he repeated the same main idea but in different words and different way just to get the attention of the listeners. Or you can use some phrases for the emphasis like uh, the key point is that buildings should serve people not the other way around the key point is this is bold and darker and the third example the third way is given here summarize the main idea of the presentation so you can draw the attention of the listeners uh, when you are going to finish the presentation you can summarize that and you can use this phrase to sum up Architects should consider both the form and function of a building. So these are some of uh, the some of the ways that, which are given here to draw the attention of draw the attention of the listeners to the main idea. On the next page, page number eighteen. This is an activity. Activity A. Read the lecture, Is Architecture Art? This is the heading. Read the lecture, Is Architecture Art? Underline an example of each strategy from 
the speaking skill box write one two or three near the underlying text so this is the activity you're gonna do when you will read this and you will underline uh, near the underline you're gonna write one two or three near the underlying text and activity b is walk in a group choose one of the following statements and talk about it to the group for one minute give examples and draw attention to the main ideas take turns and that's it thank you so much